Sentient is basically uh, an adventure game. Uh, it's a social adventure game. It's on the downside, it's clunky, it's slow, it's difficult to control. On the upside, it's really ambitious and was very experimental. Uh, there's 60 odd characters on the station and they all uh, interact and converse with each other and you interact and deal with them um, through conversation as well, through a, a list of uh, phrases and things, which is, uh, it's pretty in-depth to the point of it being cumbersome, but uh, it's interesting to say the least. Uh, I'm just going to change the difficulty. I've never done this on, uh, oh, it's all on easy already. Um, Yes, you need it on easy. This game is not easy at all. Um, it, it's really difficult, which is a shame because its difficulty almost holds it back. Um, because there's a lot of things that you see in this game, um, or you can see in this game, that you won't because the time runs out and the station falls into the sun or whatever. Uh, I played this originally in 1997 when it came out, uh, but I never completed it. I only got one ending on it. Um, which was the ending where I died by... Uh... No, I didn't, sorry, that's a lie. I got the ending where I died, but that's not the proper ending. The ending I got was where I escaped the station with the senator mentioned in the book there. There's a lot of backstory to this game. It's detailed, well thought out, which is nice. Um, but, as I say, the game is slow, and if you can't be bothered with that sort of thing, you're not going to enjoy the game or this video. Uh, I'm probably going to try and... Um, Sorry, I'm, I'm probably going to have to use online resources and things. Try to find some maps for the station. The station's pretty big, hard to navigate. I couldn't find any. There's not much about this game online, an awful lot, beyond what anyone that played the demo really uh, back in the day. Um, which is where most people seem to have heard of it from, was there was a demo on the PlayStation magazine. Um, however, I did own the full game, but didn't get much further than the demo allowed because it was just so difficult. You tend to keep running out of time. It'd be nice if they doubled or tripled the the, um, the progress of the station. So this guy, there's radiation sickness on the station, spreading from uh, caused by the canyons. People keep dying. Um, station is it can't keep its orbit. It's being pulled towards the sun as well. The sun of Zizor or Shizor is it? So it's generally things are shit. Um, yeah, the faces are very, very strange in this game, but I like it. This is unique. Uh, so you're a, um, what are we? Well, I'm, I suppose, a medic in this who is going to the station to help out with the, the radiation sickness. There also seems to be a disease, I'm not sure. They call it radiation sickness and a disease. Um, maybe the radiation can inf from the sun, which is the canyons or whatever, can infect someone. And then the Kenyans can leave that person, radiate from that person and kill them as well. Maybe. I don't know. The disease spread in this game. I think you can get the disease. I'm not sure. Uh, your main problem is the station falling into the sun. Um, this is just safety stuff at the moment. Um, uh, the graphics are awesome in this. The, uh, well, the, uh, the graphic design, rather. So we're setting up a universe. Which is a real shit place. We've got... Hegemonies, authoritarianism. And all of that seems to be amplified on this station, which is a little world to itself. This stuff really isn't, this is just scene setting, this is just kind of world building, mood uh, establishing really. Uh, it doesn't really, I don't think there's anything relevant to the game just now, it just gives you an idea of the government, uh, the station, and just gets you into the mood of the thing. Um, okay. So that's me, and me wife. And he misses his wife. Look at that. Facial animations. It's all about subtlety. Okay, he is the chief of security, I think. Let's just look through the manual. And that's the senator and his bodyguard. So the, the, the guy with the... Um, so he is... Oh shit, it's not even in the book. Surely. 
Ah, there he is. He is uh, head of security, Raymond Jurel. And it seems we have an assassin potentially on the station, a political assassin. So our senator there is concerned for his life. We the assassin? I don't know. I've never played it that much. I'll try and identify as many of these people as I go along as we can. Again, I don't know. It's just a let's play, really. Let's not worry about it too much. If we die, we die, and we won't play it again. Okay, so the captain is at the station, just to give you some background. So, as we can hear, things aren't great. Domar Lovey is the captain. <clears throat> and as we approach, he's waiting to meet us on the landing deck of the Icarus station. Or the, the dock. Sorry. Uh, that's his wife, I think? The captain's wife? Maybe? Or just a random update. And we've got a flare. Oh, not looking so good, that one. And we're dead. And so is everyone in the landing dock. Was indeed. I'm gonna look for him. Senator, you should return to your quarters. I expect to continue this conversation as soon as possible, you know. Okay, the lady in flight control wasn't the captain's wife, because he's just called the captain's wife to break the news. So somehow um Against impossible odds, we survived. And so did one other person who was on the flight deck. I don't know... Sentient's quite a dry game, so I'm guessing the fact that they survived so ridiculously is a plot point. It's not going to be swept under the carpet later on or overlooked. Um, it will be... I'm, I'm sure it'll be significant that those... Those two people and the, me and um, the other fellow will find in the dock be significant that they did survive. It's strange. So when you take control, I, I can remember bits from the beginning of this. So remember, you have to find a spacesuit, activate the shield, and, and rescue the guy who also survived the crash, who was a, a member of the sentient staff. Gene. Okay, so look at this. It's slow. Like I say, it's slow. First of all, we will um, leave the dude there. Um, we're going to just check this here because I know there's a radiation suit. Uh, some kind of clothing. Oh. Uh, yes, please. Now we're going to use our... We're a doctor. We're going to use a first aid kit on this because uh, it's like Star Trek. All you do is wave something in front of the person to save them. Uh, use on um, him. Yes, please. Uh, I'm indebted to you. Thank you. It's all right. This guy needs to hurry up. Many graphical glitches in this game. Sometimes parts of the uniform won't appear. Sometimes will. That should kill the pain. Until I can get to sick bay. Now let's hope we still have time. <laughs> He's smiling. Uh, you'll need this. It's the shield activation key. And I know where the shield activation uh, console is. You and gold jade shields. Open the airlock. You'll get trapped in if you're not quick. So we have to activate the shields. So um, the next flare doesn't destroy it. So it's... Uh, Examine use. No, 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 no. We need the key. Where's the key? Uh, you'll get locked in basically if you um, if you don't hurry. So that's activated. Use. So the shields are manually overized. Uh, manually overridden. Oh shit. Has it worked? Okay, okay. Run, 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 run. 
Okay, manual activation is done. Please don't get locked out. Shit. Okay. Oh no, it's fine. It's fine. <gasps> that was close. This game is so unforgiving. Let's see. Let's get through the airlocks. The complex airlock system. Hello, everybody. Hold it right there. Drum. Blast that man. The game. The characters have got weird names. Don't blast me. Now wait a minute. Silence, engineer. Drum, execute that order now. If you zap me, mate, I'll fuck you up. Don't be afraid, it's only a stun gun. Whew! That's nice. And that's not entirely supposed to look like that, I don't think. It's a graphical glitch. Maybe. I don't know, actually. This game's full of glitches. Things go wrong all the time. There's a maze here. People complain about these mazes on the internet. I've seen people say they're randomised. They're not. Um, you will find, occasionally through the maze, you will find uh, a pillar, a golden pillar. Um, the golden pillars kind of mark a perimeter. Um, so you want to kind of find the four pillars and head towards the centre of those four pillars. You may find four more pillars. And you keep going towards the inside of those four pillars. Uh, and you'll find the end of the maze. They're not randomised, it's not complicated. And anyone who said so is confused and hasn't been paying enough attention. It's clearly laid out. There we go, look. The inner four pillars here have um, a gateway. Let's see what's going on in his dream. Hello, love. Gian? Gian, it's me. Gian, aren't you my wife? No. Oh. Who are you? Gian, sometimes. Who are you? Who are you? Come on, Garrett. Get with the program. Who are you? Who am I? Silly question. Who are you, Garrett? What is this place? Who, who is this place? I can't tell you. But if you find me again, I'll give you a clue. What's the betting that mask that she when she takes off? It's uh is it Garrick? The guy's name? I can't remember now. No, Garrick's the guy from Star Trek. This is not good. We're getting all the people's names already. Um... <laughs> yeah, I think it's Garrick? Whatever. Hello! You saved his life. I'll save Cardinum's life. That was my friend, the mate down in Sick Bay. Who do I tell him making thank? Right, we can just remind ourselves of the character's name. Mm, I'll make a statement. I. I am called. Medic Garrett Shirova. I see, the medic we've been expecting. Jolly good. I like you. You seem nice. Your reception must have suggested that we were looking forward to seeing you. But I assure you, the heightened security is necessary. My voices for these characters will be consistent. Sometimes I won't bother at all. Be inconsistent, sorry. We have a very important guest aboard the station. What I'd like to know is, how did he survive a shore crash? Come on, my dear Vusto, extend the gentleman a little courtesy. Sorry, Doctor, but I can't understand how he survived the crash. It could be anyone for all we know, and what with the rumours about, about the Shatterjack. I apologise for my colleague's suspicious nature. As I said before, the security are a little uh, jumpy at the moment. You have no idea who I am. Be alert, alert for the attention of Kamek, Serral. Your presence is required in thingy. Uh, to the Bay Area with immediate effect. So, uh, I don't know who Kamek is. Oh, okay. Is he Kamek? I'm afraid you'll have to excuse me while I'm certain that Vusto will entertain you. Of course, Doctor. Okay, so he is Kamek. Okay, we'll remember that. There's 60 odd characters on this game. Uh, it's going to be difficult finding them. They're all really independent and they've all got their own jobs to do. Uh, see that? The face down in the bottom left hand corner? You can change your mood. Um, and people respond to you in different ways. I'm going to be really nice. I'm just a nice person. Uh, that's charming. I bet that woman on the bet the woman on the base finds you very attractive, Finnard. Finnard Vusto. Okay. Silence! I've orders to remain here and um, not not talk to you until your identity has been proven. Okay. Well, I'm going to uh, give an object because we've got credentials here. I've got my ID. Giving you these credentials. What are these? I'm confiscating these for examination. Fine. Okay. Okay. 
let's talk to our friend here. Uh, I can't remember his name now. Is it Kamek? Thank you. You saved my life back there. If you hadn't acted so quickly, we'd both be dead now. You'll always have friends in engineering. There are different kind of factions in this. Um, remember my friend. We turn to the sky. There are the engineers, the scientists, and there's the command crew as well in security. Uh, four basic factions, and you can kind of win favour with them, or fall out of favour with any of them. Um, so make a statement. Uh, room. We need shield activation. Um, we need to reassure him that it's hot as the sun in here. That was an accident. It's impossible to keep cool. Right. Uh, make a statement. I just want to reassure him that the um, the shield that we fixed was fine. Machine from list. Item in room. Not this room. Nope. Yeah, it doesn't matter that much. Um, room. You know what? Let's just leave it. Ah, Mr. Shirova. I'm glad you're still here. Where else would I go? The flight recorder from the wreckage confirms your identity. And so do those credentials. I just give that guy. Flight recorder? I thought it was lost with the shuttle hit. Oh, do shut up. As I was saying, now your identity is known to me. I'll be sure to keep the appropriate. Take the appropriate course of action. What next? Can I go? I can go. I'm free. What do I do? I don't trust Vusto. Seems like a dick. It's Medic Downall is requested in the port suit, so uh, he's going to see Medic Downall wherever she is. Do Downall, Doctor, what does she want? Right, I need to interrupt you guys. Okay, so him and Doctor Downall, Vusto and Downall, having something going on there. Now, Shriver, before you leave quarantine, I must inform your body of various diseases and hazards it shall encounter aboard Icarus. Please just try to relax. Think happy thoughts, Garrett. That guy is smiling. Um, I, yes. See you around, Kamek. Farewell, Medic Shirova. I think I just made that unintentionally um, sinister. He doesn't like me being happy, you see that? See his expression? He took exception to me. No, I can't get out. He took exception to me smiling at him. I'm just being friendly. But I can't get out. Let's have a look at some objects in the room because later on. Oh, okay. And we've been zapped. And another dream sequence! What happened to the Icarus? Okay, so look for the four, look for the golden pillars. Find what is likely the center of the golden pillars, and got these. Uh, can you call them concentric squares? I suppose. Yeah, that's what you can call them. Working their way inwards. So there's one golden orangey pillar there. Uh, where's the next one? There's another one. So if we go down here, and there's another one at the end, well, we must turn left. Oh no, there's not. Oh, okay. Um, maybe I'm wrong then. Maybe it's just a matter of following the pillars. Yes, it seems to be a follow the golden or orangey pillars. Uh, I suppose they're brass pillars, maybe. Doesn't matter, does it? Okay. I promised only you. A clue then. <gasps> Who is it? Oh, his mum. Looks a bit like an old Jodie Whittaker. Old plastic yeah. Jody Whisker. So you are my wife. <laughs> Find me again and 